uh, the West Point Mathematics Department uh, Top Gun Award Ceremony. Stopped here for a conference call and realized there's a beautiful view of the city. Okay, this is the scenic overlook with the 400 foot cliffs below us. We're just north of the George Washington Bridge, which is right over here. The city, of course, is in the background. In this Empire State Building. And these are uh, communication towers that actually replaced some that were on top of the World Trade Center, which would have been down here somewhere. Freedom Towers being built in there. Um, as we look north, you're actually looking right at the northern tip of Manhattan. This is the, um, the bridge that crosses over into the Bronx. This uh, rock over here on the other side of it, there's a big C for Columbia. This, this is the Baker Field facility up here. I played uh, some football there, so I know all about it. Um, and we'll head north now and get up to West Point. Okay, here's one of the passenger trains that runs all the way up to Garrison and other towns on the western or the eastern side of the Hudson that the cadets will take a ferry to in order to get down to the city. So here we see a crossing over the bridge from the Bronx into Manhattan making its way down to I think Penn Station. Okay, I'm looking up the walkway in front of Thayer. Thayer Hall, which we see here, is going to be the site of the uh, Math Science Department's uh, Top Gun Award ceremony in about five or ten minutes. Okay, Thayer Hall is actually the hall where the Dutch used to be taught how to ride horses for army purposes and uh, has been converted into a uh, academic building as the math department inside. The math department, I can be as bold as to suggest, is the discipline here that is the foundation for all of the academic programs at West Point. West Point was founded as an engineering school. Uh, naturally, mathematics is the key uh, science uh, or discipline needed for every science field and engineering discipline that takes that is taught here at West Point. Um, so. The fact that we're going here for the award ceremony, which is great, just so happens uh, there are 12 cadets who will be honored today. My son happens to be one of them, which is why I'm here. But I just wanted to uh, tell the rest of the parents that uh, you've got great things to be proud of with your students. Um, getting a math award is usually a sign of a brilliant mind. And I know that from a uh, brother I have who uh, is a nuclear physicist who uh, worked for Lawrence Livermore Labs, who uh, in eighth grade was doing calculus. This happens to be the uncle, uh, naturally, of my son. So I'm going to get inside here, and um, Colonel Michael Phillips, the head of the department, will be leading the ceremony, and Dr. Gabriel Costa will also be there as well to assist. The theater of art skill, um, or short period, correct? Okay. <laughs> I don't have an email address. Okay. Uh, but what has distinguished Steve uh, as, a, as graduating uh, cadet is that he has uh, demonstrated excellence in, uh, in his coursework and as a, uh, as a mathematician, a budding mathematician, Athletes, uh, we uh, recognize him as more than just being a student of mathematics, but uh, almost being a colleague uh, with the faculty. And so I
I know that there are other comments that would, uh, that would run similar to that. Uh, of note, in, his, uh, in this, this past year, in the first term of this past year, he made three A pluses in his math courses, and then three A pluses and an A in this, uh, this recent term, uh, ending up with an APSC, all of these uh, <coughs> academic performance scores, uh, in the major of 4.126. So we congratulate and uh, award Steve Morris, the recipient of the first class excellence award in mathematics. So congratulations. Please make your way to the front of the auditorium so you can receive your award. The second class academic excellence award is presented to Cadet Andrew Carfang. This award is based on academic excellence in the mathematics courses taken by second class math and or OR majors. And it's presented today again by Lieutenant Colonel Archie Bulmer. Andrew, is he here? No. Let me just say a few things about Andrew though. Andrew uh, has also similarly uh, uh, demonstrated excellence in math. Uh, he's a math major, uh, but um, being from Evanston, Illinois, uh, he has been involved in various things such as our uh, world-renowned chess club, a member of the chess team. Uh, as a plea, he took the 153 course, uh, advanced math course, validated 104 and some other things uh, to include MA 255, the second term of that advanced program, and then went on to make light of the entire math core program and validated 206. And so he took one core math course, and by the, the second term of his plea year, he was taking math electives. Now, he is not alone. There are others out here in the audience that have done that. But you know, just uh, indicating that this is uh, part of the excellence that uh, Andrew has uh, demonstrated. Currently, as a second class cadet, he has an APSC and a major. These are all the courses that support his major. He has a 4.236. And so he's doing quite well in, uh, in, that, in that regard. So just in his absence, just uh, give him applause. For him. The General of the Army Omar N. Bradley Award for Excellence in Mathematics Electives is presented to Cadet Stephen Morse. This award will also be presented at the Graduation Awards Convocation in a few days. This award is presented to the Cadet for Excellence in the Elective Mathematics Studies and is presented again by Lieutenant Colonel Archie Bulmer. And Colonel Phillips. <laughs> section award, which will also be presented in a few days at the graduation awards convocation, is presented to Cadet Kyle Snook. Uh, this award is presented for Excellence in Operations Research and is presented by Colonel Wilmer. Military Application Society Award uh, for Excellence in Operations Research. Once again, another uh, sequence or track of courses where students are able to focus their major. Cal has demonstrated excellence in that from Concord, Massachusetts. He has uh, probably had to defend himself. Uh, both parents are graduates uh, and uh, classes of 80. I know they put a lot of pressure on seeing how, uh, how he comes through. Also some siblings, si siblings that have uh, graduated and matriculated through here. And so uh, we want to just thank uh, Cal for his excellence in operations research. He's also been involved in the Glee Club and Inline Hockey Club. Okay, enjoy that.
his uh, APSC, his academic performance score in the major 4.045. He is graduating with honors in operations research and is recipient of our operations research society. The Problem of the Week Mathematics Problem Solving Competition Award is presented each semester to cadets and faculty members with the highest point total accumulated in the Department of Mathematical Sciences weekly competition. This award is presented by Dr. Elijah Peterson, and the two cadets receiving the award this year are Cadets Thomas Moosman and Cadet Lucas Enlow. Cadet Enlow was not able to attend today. Um, so the problem of the week uh, it happens ten times a year. I send out problems to everybody I can, I can get on the email list. And about halfway through the last semester, uh, Tom started sending me some problems, some solutions. Uh, so he wasn't quite at the very top of there, but he, like once he started sending those in, he was uh, he got just about the top score of every problem. So he did a great job this semester. Congratulations! Hope to see you in the department more in the future. And uh, hope you enjoy the problem. Giving the cadets a run for their money as well, we have uh, some faculty members that participate each week. This year, Major Carlos Fernandez had the highest point accumulation. Okay, so uh, Carlos had the second highest score, I think, overall, um, beyond somebody who sent in some just Mathematical notebooks from Wisconsin somewhere. <laughs> so, congratulations on that. Uh, one thing I will say is though is if anybody, any cadets here, any faculty are looking to learn LaTeX, this is your guy. So uh, he, I sent him out in LaTeX and he sent them back with flourishes and all kinds of fun stuff. That's a LaTeX guy. And congratulations on the problem. The annual Mathematics Student Award is presented to cadets who are nominated by instructors for outstanding achievements in mathematics during the academic year. The first cadet recipient is Cadet Thomas Kendall, and this award is being presented by Colonel Joseph Myers. Well, Thomas was uh, cruising on in clean math. He would uh, do his work. He would, and I did not have him do that. Uh, he would do his work and then he would do some things on the side. And the way he kind of came to my attention was he brought uh, two pages of this Taylor series derivation of a complex value function proving some kind of complex value identity uh, to, to Colonel Jay. Colonel Jay looked at it and said, Whoa. And uh, <laughs> took him down to the counselors. He I taught him 45 this semester, and somehow he's the second semester of Cleveland and up in the main 45, right? So I said, Well, he probably needs to be nominated. <laughs> Cadet Lewis Rebus will receive an award by Dr. Susan Schmoyer.
Megan Snook will receive her award from Dr. Swim. So Megan is that uh, special student who uh, ends up being a, a quality leader in the classroom. She uh, always makes sure that yeah. unlike the uh, yeah, he's up next. Is Christian Martinez in the audience today? No. The next award will be given to Manuel Vera by Father Costa. Nielsen will also receive a award from Paula Costa. Yes. This cadet is a real plug. As a matter of fact, he had crutches. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, he not only had B in 255, but he also had B in 153. So he deserves the reward for listening to the jokes. <laughs> oh, and incidentally, one other thing. If there's a cadet who's going to be a soldier, and you want an foxhole with you, it's this guy. This guy doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Congratulations. <laughs> Gorzelnik here. Yes, he is. Come on down. You're also receiving an award from Father Costa. Mr. Gorzelnik was another plugger. He was there every day asking questions, interested in mathematics, wanted to know those little nuances about math. This man has a passion for mathematics, which is a real gift. Congratulations. See if I can do this now without being <laughs> yeah. May I say a word about Mr. Martinez? He was my student too. He had prior service in Iraq and uh, he's taking a staff course right now. He reached out and he uh, really took another cadet under, under his wing. The cadet was having problems. Really did a good job. So can we give him a little round 
John Rollinson will receive a award from Lieutenant Colonel Outing. job for us. Um, John also, because uh, we couldn't find enough to occupy his time, he, he also uh, competed in our math uh, competition, mathematical competition and modeling, where he uh, beat out several of our upper class teams and received uh, a meritorious award for that competition, which I, I think he will be recognized for that later. So congratulations. Salvador Minopoli will also receive an award from Colonel Outer. Another graduate of our advanced mathematics program, um, um, Monopoly did an excellent job for us this year. A uh, hard worker, always asks the deep questions in class, keeps us, on, uh, keeps us honest in the classroom. I personally witnessed him mentor and, um, and uh, a tutor another cadet in the program on material that uh, he was just learning himself. So um, that's a credit to Cadet Monopoly. Congratulations. Thomas Moosman will receive an award from Lieutenant Colonel Outing as well. And uh, Cadet Musman, another graduate of the Advanced Math Program, you heard about his exploits earlier in the uh, Problem of the Week contest. Um, I could never get out of classroom on, out of the class on time because uh, he'd always want to come up and talk about what we just went over in the class because he was he was always thinking he would always come up and say, "Hey, sir, couldn't we do it this way? And could we try that?" or he'd come up with some Mathematica thing that he was working on while I was boring him with my lecture <laughs> to demonstrate how you could do this really cool in Mathematica. So, you know, uh, thanks for sitting through it. <laughs> Kelly McDonald will receive an award from Major Boucher. receiving an award from uh, any department, uh, uh, nearly on any department in the, at the academy here. Kelly has excelled in everything that she's done as a plebe, and she has taken uh, nearly every uh, advanced course program uh, that a plebe can take. Uh, but related to math, uh, Kelly has uh, excelled in the advanced math program. In fact, if we were to identify one student as the top gun for the program, uh, it would be Kelly. Um, she is a passionate uh, mathematician um, that uh, is kind of a quiet leader in the classroom, um, but identifies herself as um, uh, very good at what she does. Thank you, Kelly, for everything. Richard Calhoun will receive an award from Major Smith. So, what can you say about Bridget? Well, first thing, uh, you can say that you don't have to be an advanced math student to get one of these awards. Uh, she was in 104 this last year, this last semester with me. and. Uh, just stood out. Uh, she plays attack in lacrosse, but she also played attack in our classroom. Um, it seemed like every problem that you'd give her, she'd get to the board, start working at it. The thing is, whenever she was briefing boards, other students were taking notes. 
So she's a leader in the classroom. She's the kind that you want to have in your classroom because frankly, a lot of times students learn better from each other than they do from us. She was the one helping out a lot of people in the class she was in. So, uh, thank you. <clears throat> the Laura Winkle Memorial Applied Math Award is presented to the graduating cadet for outstanding performance in the applied mathematics courses in the mathematics major program. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Wilmer and Dr. Brian Winkle will present this award to Cadet John Stanford. Say a few words. Uh, John is a mechanical engineering major in mathematics studies, but he's part of the math family. Uh, this is a big family here, and about 10 years ago, I realized how big and gracious he was as her daughter was battling cancer. She didn't make it and uh, died in December of 98 at the age of 26. And so we wanted to give back something to this department that helped us. Laura was a classicist, uh, but took mathematics and loved the applications of them. And uh, so we thought, okay, this, we're not going to give a classics award in this department. Uh, uh, but we were going to give an award that uh, honored a uh, student who did well in applications. And uh, John is such a student. Uh, I have been privileged also to teach engineers, and um, they are creative people. And uh, so we're pleased to give you this award this time. Let me uh, just uh, thank you, Dr. <coughs> for, for your generosity. Um, our recipient here was recognized as having those same attributes uh, as, uh, as Laura Helen. And uh, he comes from South Lake, Texas. Uh, has participated in a number of, uh, of extracurricular activities, the Officers Christian Fellowship, the German Language Club, Pipes and Drum, Scoutmasters Council, has served on the Sandhurst team. And uh, John is one of those uh, rare students I talked about earlier that validated pretty much every, well, actually every, every core math course we took 153 and then said, I don't need to take any more for math courses. And so by the time he was a second semester plebe, was taking advanced uh, math courses in the elective 363. He completed all but one required course in the math studies major as a yearling. So by the time he was finished with his uh, yearling year, uh, he had already obtained, almost nearly obtained the major in math studies. He's a double major, as Dr. Winkle uh, mentioned, in uh, mechanical engineering with honors, and uh, is just a stellar uh, example of <coughs> excellence. And uh, so the recipient uh, out of this year's uh, Winkle Memorial Award is John Williams Sam. So thank you. Very much. was awarded last fall, but the recipient, Cadet Andrew Cahoy, was unable to attend in the fall, and as such today, Colonel Phil will <coughs> present this award in recognition of Andrew's having the highest GPA in the core math program. Actually, we, he was in the Air Force Academy, I think, when we gave the award ceremony this year, last fall, and then spring he came back, and we did it in front of all the uh, department heads at the general committee meeting. It's quite an award. Big old saber mounted. It's like a knickknack, I guess. In the room. Is that it? <laughs> Are you hanging in the room? What are you doing? Anyway, it's always longer. I'm right at home, sir. That's that one. It's a big saber mounted. It's a pretty cool award, especially at the awards ceremony, because usually they're giving out big fat uh, CRCs or uh, 
chemical manuals or computer trays. All of a sudden, I bring out this big piece of paper. Oh, crowd. <laughs> it's a cool award, as that goes. And it's very significant in that it's the highest GPA among total among all the four programs. So this is an individual who had to be tops almost every semester in some sense. And believe me, when we select it, it's usually a tight race among people who the difference is not, they all may be pluses. The difference is whether they won two or three as they've gone through these courses that have a thousand students each in. In this case, he won, so it's worth another recognition today. So congratulations. The second lieutenant, Zachariah Miller Memorial Award, is presented to Cadet George Wilson. This award is given to the graduating cadet who demonstrates the greatest potential to contribute his or her knowledge of the mathematics, science, and uh, services to the nation, who thus exemplifies the attributes of the late Second Lieutenant Zachariah Miller, Useman Class 2002, and is presented today by Lieutenant Colonel Archie Wilmer. Let me share uh, a few things about uh, Lieutenant Zachariah Miller. Uh, for those who may not know his background and the, uh, the story behind the Memorial Award, uh, he was described as best of the best. Uh, his achievements and his character were uh, nothing short of tremendous. And so uh, he distinguished himself not only uh, here at West Point, but even before as a, uh, as a scholar, a leader, and an athlete. He was born in, uh, in uh, Franklin, Pennsylvania. Uh, his parents, Keith and Rosalind uh, Miller, but he came from Stoneboro, Pennsylvania. Uh, as a 1998 graduate of Lakeview High School, he was valedictorian of his class. There he uh, also served as student council president. Uh, he was active in the concert band, captain the football, basketball, and track teams, and uh, actually attended a, a city college uh, starting at the age of 13. <laughs> where he was selected to attend the Pennsylvania Governor's School for Sciences in 1997, a year before uh, he graduated. He entered West Point class of 02, uh, uh, soon became the team captain for the Army rugby team, received the 2002 Rugby Scholar Athlete Award. He was a double major in both mathematics and computer science. So Second Lieutenant uh, Zachariah Miller was a 2001 Truman Scholar and a 2002 Rhodes Scholar. Uh, he was a distinguished graduate, graduated 11th out of his class of 957 uh, in the class of 02, received his diploma from President George W. Bush. And so uh, just uh, as, as I said before, Zachariah Miller was best of the best. The committee uh, that selected this year's recipient saw those same attributes uh, and so uh, is deserving. George Bradley goes by Brad. George Bradley Wilson uh, served as a regimental leader uh, on regimental staff. Excellence in all of the measures of academic performance, TQPAs, CQPAs, APSTs, all of those both in the core and the major, all above 4.0, all of them. And so winner of the Rotary and uh, Ambassadorial Scholarship, a double major in economics and math studies. He spent a year in the Air Force Academy, and uh, one of his desires is to attend graduate schooling in London, London School of Economics. And so he is in deserving of this uh, special recognition Zachariah Miller Award. What comes with it is several things. One of them, two books, The Genius of Warler and The, uh, the Equation That Couldn't Be Solved. We'll see if he can solve it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and several other things. And so, ladies and gentlemen, George Bradley Wilson.
Major Theodore Vincent and Lieutenant Lila Blanche from Monaco Memorial Award is presented to Cadet Syria Okolo by Lieutenant Colonel Wilmer and Major Chong for demonstrating the greatest potential for future math studies. So let me share with you just a little bit. We've heard uh, of the uh, wonderful generosity of Dr. Ramaka and his uh, wonderful wife, Lauren. Uh, and, uh, but let me just share a couple of things about this particular memorial award. Uh, awarded to the graduating cadet with the greatest potential for future studies in mathematics and operations research. Uh, Lila Blanche uh, Ramaka is, uh, is Ted's mom and, uh, and father, Vincent, Theodore Benson. Uh, they both served in the United States Army, uh, wonderfully died, uh, passed several years ago. Uh, it's Lila Blanche at the age of 74 and uh, Theodore Benson at 85 years old. Uh, the recipient of the Purple Heart, Major Ramadka, uh, his story indicates he was leading a ruse and capturing the bridge across the uh, Ludwig uh, Canal in Germany under the Third Army under General Patton, crossed the Danube River later at uh, Regensburg. On his approach, he was blown out of his Jeep and suffered severe injury to his shoulder and cuts to his arm. Nevertheless, he continued to move his, uh, his unit, continued the mission despite small arms and artillery fire. He captured the bridge uh, at Kelheim and eventually led his troops across the bridge and captured the town of Kelmheim. Uh, this is overwhelming, from, uh, over, overcoming tremendous odds and pressing forward in the face of major challenges. And of course, the committee this year saw some of those same qualities in the recipient. Uh, I'll let uh, Major Chung say a few things, but let me just note that she is from Grand Prairie, Texas, so Texas. Uh, in a rules and, uh, and uh, competitive club, she participated in fencing. So don't give her a saber and stand near. Uh, she has been active in French language club, Spanish club, uh, the American Chemical Society, Officer Christian Fellowship, the Contemporary Affairs, uh, Arabic language. How did you have time for all of these? Okay. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and several other clubs. Uh, she has, uh, uh, strangely enough, she is, even with this bu busy uh, uh, extracurricular activities, she has, she has overloaded in every term as a cadet with either eight, nine, or in, in one semester, 10 courses. Uh, and she is graduating with uh, operations research major with honors. So let me let uh, Major Chong just share some things about well, Sierra. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in Sierra about uh, two and a half years ago uh, when I got here. I think we were doing a uh, kind of prep session uh, for the Virginia Tech Math competition. And uh, as a human, I think she was the only human who showed up at the session at the time. And uh, so Frank, well, I remember.
Then it says uh, Major Theodore Vinson Romatka and Lieutenant Viola Blanche Romatka Memorial Award for Excellence in Mathematical uh, Mathematical Sciences. Sierra Cola. The 2008 Mathematical Competition and Interdisciplinary Competition Model Teams involves three-person teams representing their schools. The teams spend a long weekend working on very complex applied problems, and they produce a written report of their final solutions. There are over 600 teams from around the world that competed in the event. And the mer meritorious award, as advised by Major Harding and Dr. Edward Swim, is presented to Cadets John Rowlandson and George Chuning. Let me just say a couple more words about the, the MCM. Uh, the MCM is an international uh, annual um, uh, modeling competition. Uh, this last year, uh, 1,162 teams participated from around the world, um, countries such as Australia, Canada, China, Germany, Finland, uh, and others. Um, the top 1% um, of uh, the teams receive outstanding Celebration. Uh, the uh, the top 13 percent received meritorious uh, honors, and uh, the top 41 percent um, received honorable uh, mention. Um, this uh, first team is a fleet team. Um, they received uh, meritorious honors uh, at the exceptional job. As uh, Ray said. Uh, several examples and went through several simulations we're now starting to analyze exactly what they were going to do with that. I believe it was maybe less than 24 hours later they canned everything that they did and started all over again uh, and came out with an excellent, excellent result. I was stunned when I opened up their paper and started reading through. I wish that I'd ever been that good as an undergraduate as a mathematician as these guys are going to be later on in their career. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. presented uh, on behalf of their team to Ian Crookshank. Sciences presents the Top Gun Award to the cadet or cadets who receive the highest grade average in each mathematics course at the end of the term. The MA 101 Top Gun recipient is Cadet Cindy Menjavar. All right, Sydney hails <coughs> from uh, Queens, New York. She 
it has the dubious honor to be the shortest crew member. <laughs> but uh, she makes she more than makes up for that in the determination. I'm told. Um, Sydney's name came to me first uh, on the first graded homework assignment. Um, she turns in the cover sheet and, and she spells her name C-I-D-N-Y. So I circle her name with a little question mark, you know, why don't you know how to spell your name? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, very humbly, Sarah, that is my name, is Sydney. And I said, yeah, I know, and everybody says that. So uh, it, was, it was neat to, to meet her that way. But, um, I always, there's a saying I tell my cadets, and it's from uh, the movie The Matrix. Um, you never truly know someone until you fight them. And, uh, and I twist it around a little bit and say, you never truly know Matt until you teach him. And Sydney took that to heart. So on graded homeworks, on, on uh, anything that was turning, all the cadets in the class practically cited Minji, with her friends, uh, as I professionally call her, cited her as assisting them because she taught everyone. Um, and, and maybe that's why she knew Matt so well, because she knew Matt so well. So um, she's making a habit out of this. She was the 100 top gun also. And uh, so 104, watch out. <laughs> the MA-103 top gun recipient is received by Robert Perez Almany. Unfortunately, Cadet Perez is, um, is in class right now. He's, uh, he's taking 206. Um, the, uh, the folks that are teaching the electives, um, be on the lookout because Cadet Perez is a math major. It would, it would be surprising to see a yearling taking MA 103 second semester. Um, the reason is, is because Cadet Perez, well, he, he didn't do as well as he would have liked the first time he took it. So as far as DZ and Tyler could find, he's the first person to ever volunteer to take the course again, <laughs> just because he didn't think he did a good enough job the first time. So he took it again, and he got an A, of course, and, and I'm sure he's not as proud of the fact that he got an A, is the fact that he took charge of his classmates, and he started to organize and, and bring the students together to actually learn the material better. So I'm sure that he's as proud of the fact that he got an A as the fact that his study group resulted in the number three, number four, number five averages in the class. So when, uh, when you all see Cadet Perez in your classes next year, know that he is a true professional, accepts nothing but excellence for himself, and is a very he's a true team player. So good luck to Cadet Perez in the future. There are three MA-104 Top Gun recipients. Will the three cadets please come forward? Kyle Bull, John Bolger and Jordan Berry. If John Bolger and uh, Jordan Berry could just stand to the side for a second. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, Kyle Greenberg is the name that comes to my mind. This file doesn't know Kyle Greenberg. Kyle Greenberg was an exceptional cadet here at West Point and my office mate uh, Kyle would hang out in the lounge office outside of my office. He did it first as a plea because it was a haven. Then he did it as a yearling and a cow and a senior because it was his office. Um, he was top gun in just about every course he took. And this Kyle was top gun in MA-103 and again top gun in MA-104. But the, the similarities don't stop there. He has begun on occasion to hang out where the other kind of hang out. He would show up at 7.15 in my office and uh, work his stuff out there and once in a while pop his head in and ask for questions. Uh, some were good questions, some were not. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was a pleasure to have him in, in class and I want to congratulate him along with his two colleagues on uh, being the top gun in uh, MA 104. Okay, I had the pleasure of having John in the class, and the nice thing about the military is that your uniform is your resume. So when we look at his uniform, we already see that he's been promoted based on his performance and his potential for future studies of math. And halfway through the semester, I saw how uh, talented he was and put up the recommendation for promotion, and it happened. So prior to first class, John is who we have here today. I wish that was a true story because uh, unfortunately, John has to leave the academy in a couple weeks. Uh, not by his choice, he has a medical condition with his hand, 
which does not permit him to box, which is a graduation requirement. For wow. Although it's not a requirement for entering the Army, and John um, only looked at coming to the military academy. So right now, he's considering uh, ROTC, because he still wants to serve in the Army. So please, you're going to see him on the battlefield. Upper classroom, you'll we'll see him on the battlefield. Good job, good job. Uh, inside the classroom, John was a stellar uh, student, uh, phenomenal. When we um, took the first WPR, we studied our picture perfect, and I Xeroxed it, stuff on the class. And I kind of looked at it as I was going through the WPR afterwards because there were some answers that were very direct, and there were some answers that kind of went around but still had the exact answer. And I was able to use it in front of the class and say, I bet some of you thought about doing this, and it kind of made the class go on nice. So I thank you. Um, and then in addition, uh, when you come into any program, whether it be your first year as, as a new student in a new school or in a new curriculum, there's always the anxiety is of how to do different topics such as projects, what's the right way to do a project. I'm sure some of believes, uh, if not all, have struggled with what, how, what, what do I really do for the final tournament? Uh, John didn't really have that problem, or if he did, he kept it to himself, and he turned it into top-notch projects, which uh, I have kept and we are going to be using it in future years as an example so other cadets coming into the curriculum can see what is expected of them for determining for a final project. What is that date plus project look like? So all around, John has done an outstanding job. I wish him the best of luck over this next semester. He might be uh, going to a community college because as I stated earlier, he hadn't really looked at any other colleges except for West Point. Um, but he's going to be making a decision shortly had two Top Gun recipients. Is Ezra Swanson present? And also Jeffrey Hewitt. with 
multiple students gathering around his board as he demonstrated how to do a problem. He's a good uh, teacher in addition to his students. The MA206 Top Gun recipients is Alex Reeder, Todd Briggs, Andrew Meister. Is Todd Briggs and Andrew Meister present today? Okay, the writing is on the wall when I met Alex. Okay. Rumor had it that uh, I think this is your fourth time up here for a Top Gun. He's won the Top Gun for MA13. To a bot. So when I heard he was coming to my class, like I said, the right on um, Just Alex is an outstanding student. He's the kind of student that you want in your class because he challenges you every day so that you're not going to get that blindsided question from the student that you're like, I don't know, I don't know the answer. Um, a couple things were, he did ask me a couple questions, so at least I know that I taught him probably two things that you didn't know coming into class. Um, and I think the one story I'd love to share with you is on the second WPR, I think he missed a point. Um, so I was not shocked, so I pulled him aside and said, Alex, what happened? He goes, sir, I had a couple of those humanities classes requirements. I had a paper and a WPR, and I just couldn't study for MA206. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one point, so Alex. <laughs> The MA-255 top of the awards go to Michael Thiesing and Kelly McDonald. MA-255 is a redesigned uh, intro to differential equation course rigorous differential equation course, uh, similar to what is found at any uh, engineering college <coughs> university, uh, as a second year uh, course. Uh, these individuals took this course uh, as first year students and dominated uh, the material. They were uh, an honor uh, to have in class. Uh, I love teaching them, and uh, no doubt they will go on to do good and great things uh, at the academy. Again, wonderful job by uh, all of these individuals. Uh, all of them will go on to do real great things. I'm presenting them with uh, the coveted uh, department uh, paint measure, uh, screwdriver, pen, pencil, knife, <laughs> lighter.
Thank you. <laughs> the MA 363 Top Gun Awards are received by Stephen Kinney and Elliot Gardner. Elliot, are you here today? So, uh, 363, a, um, of course, uh, that finishes out the calculus experience, uh, vector calculus. We use the Che uh, textbook, Div Grad Curl, and all of that, plus the Borsa Prima uh, elementary differential equations. And so, uh, Steve here, let me tell him just a quick uh, thing. Send me an email prior to the term. Can I tell the story? Okay. <laughs> Send me an email prior to the term and said, Sir. What do I need to get to get the A plus? Your, your, your grade standard doesn't indicate the pluses and minuses. I know I've got an A, but I want an A plus, and nothing tells me what I need to make on the term in. So I sent back, just do your best. <laughs> so he did. Made an A plus on the term in, and of course he made an A plus in the, in the course. And so Steve uh, and his, uh, his colleague, uh, Elliot uh, Gardner, uh, are both math majors and uh, looking to uh, see just some wonderful things from X. Congratulations. The MA 364 Top Gun recipients, although we're not able to attend today, are Benjamin Little, Nicholas Hines, and Alexander Madden. All right, I'll just say a few words. Uh, I guess uh, none of the three were able to attend. But I just want to say a quick, a few quick words about the.